Welcome to this installment of Sugar CRM Tutorials for AtCore Systems. Today we will focus on creating dashboards within Sugar CRM and how they can help. Let's get started. First, head to your Sugar CRM installation and log in. When Sugar CRM fully loads, you will be taken to your front page and see something similar to this. If not, it's alright, just click on the logo here and you will be taken to this page. Does your page still not match up? There's a good reason for that. Each user in your Sugar CRM installation has his or her own dashboard that loads after login. The dashlets, each individual box on the dashboard, enable you to create your own workspace that suits your needs. The dashlets can display your contacts, recent sales, marketing statistics, or nearly anything you would like from your Sugar data. Your dashboard is divided into as many tabs as you would like, and as many as you can fit across your screen. Right now I just have these three tabs but I can easily add more by clicking on the plus icon right here. We'll go ahead and add one to test it out. Click the plus icon, and the box that pops up enters the name of the tab and the number of columns that you would like for it to hold. I'll just select two columns. That was very simple. Now on to populating the dashboard with some information. Locate the Add Sugar Dashlist link in the top right of your screen. You will see a box pop up similar to this. You can either browse through the tabs and links within each tab, or just perform a quick search if you know the name of the tab. I'm going to start with a simple dashlet to display my contacts, so I will click on that. After clicking my contacts, a dashlet was added in the background, leaving the box up to add another. Let's go ahead and do that with another link and select my favorite reports. After that, just click X and close the box. You will now see your recently added dashlets. These can be dragged about the screen and reorganized as you see fit. As you can see, both dashlets are populated with data. This data can be narrowed down even further. All we need to do is hover over the top right of my contacts dashlet and three icons will appear. Going from left to right, we have the option to edit, refresh, and close this particular dashlet. Click on edit, which is represented by the gear icon. During the edit process, you can alter the name, look, and function of the dashlet. To change how many and which columns are displayed, change that information here. I'm changing the number of rows to 10 and auto refresh to every 10 minutes. You can filter your results a bit more using the filters options. I'm only interested in viewing contacts that are assigned to me then click Save. Now the My Contacts dashlet is refreshed using the options we selected. All of the dashlets provide similar options and filters that can quickly give you the information you need, and this is the exact reason why your dashboard and dashlets are so helpful. They can be used to access features within Sugar CRM that you use on a regular basis and need to access quickly, as well as allow more personal experience through organizing what you use. Feel free to add some additional tabs and dashlets to see what works best for you. Congratulations, you have successfully completed this tutorial on creating dashboard and dashlets within Sugar CRM and are well on your way to becoming an expert user. Feel free to come back to these videos at any time that you need a refresher, or if you need any further assistance, then contact your Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks.